I'm Josh Pearson. I'm 17 years old from Wilsonville, Oregon, and I'm a professional racing driver. I drive for United Auto Sports in the number 23 LMP2 car in the FIA World Endurance Championship, TDS Racing in the number 35 LMP2 car in the IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, and HMD Motorsports in Indy Next by Firestone um, with, as an Ed Carpenter Racing Development driver. So I've been using this simulator for a long time, and traditionally I was using a SimuCube Pro, and now uh, the lovely people at SimuCube were amazing enough to send me an Ultimate to try. And you know, I will say I was actually quite shocked at a lot of the differences that I found when driving them. Um, they're very subtle, but you know, those subtle differences a lot of the time make a big difference. And I think that the advantage to using something like the SimuCube is just that really natural feel that you get. Um, it feels very similar to a real car, and they give you a ton of tuning controls um, through their program, the SimuCube and TrueDrive Paddock, where you're able to adjust the wheel, and, and you know it goes even further than just that because you can also adjust it within the game. So um, you have a lot of you know minute fine tuning that you can do to make it feel really realistic. And I find that you know every car I drive, I'm kind of tuning it a little bit differently for a lot of the cars to make it feel as real as possible and give me that best feeling when I'm in the car. It can be a bit tricky because you know some cars have power steering, some don't, and so trying to replicate that feeling on a lot of sims can be really difficult. But SimuCube and especially the Ultimate and the Pro, which I've used, have both made that process really simple and have really helped me to kind of fine tune it and get it to a point where I feel you know I have the most realistic feeling and control over it. You know when I when I stepped up from the 25 to the 32, I think that you know you might not necessarily need all that torque because it's a lot and you can almost make it stronger than the actual car so you don't need all that force but what it does do is by having a bigger margin and a bigger scale you have much more options to fine-tune the settings and to make it feel as realistic as possible I think it definitely has helped me in a, in a lot of situations you know just learning where bumps are and what feels like on the track you know iRacing and a lot of these programs do a great job at 3d scanning the tracks and so they're very accurate you know from curbs to bumps um, you can get a really good feeling and if the wheel is tuned properly which the guys at SimuCube do an amazing job um, you know you can get a lot of that feeling where sometimes you turn into a corner and just that little vibration on a curb or that little bump that you can feel the contour in the road through the wheel when I look back at you know starting my journey into cars and it, once you go from karting to cars a lot of the track time that you get in karting stops you know we don't have that many sessions um, overall on track so you don't have a lot of track time which doesn't give you a lot of time to learn the tracks and to figure out the car but the sim you know really comes in handy you can fine-tune it to really feel like the car you drive and that gives you a big advantage when you're learning a track because you know you can just you can already immediately pick out little minorities in the track like there's a there's a little bit of a bump here there's contour in the curb and maybe some of those things you know when you show up you'll find are exactly the same and it gives you a big advantage when learning the track compared to your competitors SimuCube for me has been, you know, by far the best that I've used. I've used a lot of companies and, and SimuCube for me has been the most realistic and the most accurate. I think that the amount of control they give you over, you know, every little setting, you know, such as dampening and, and friction, they give you a lot of control over how the wheel feels, which allows you to fine tune it no matter the car you're driving. You know, some cars, whether it has power steering, no power steering, you know, whether you're a professional driver looking for the most realistic feel or a sim racer looking for the most comfortable feel um, to your needs, you know, it has it all. You can do anything. With with all that adjustment and the 32 newton meters of force, I find that, you know, no matter what you're driving, whether it has power steering or not, you have a great deal of adjustment to make it feel as realistic to what you need as possible. You know, as an ultimate goal, I would say really my goal, my dream is to get to IndyCar. Obviously, I'd love to win the Indy 500 and the 24 hours of Le Mans, but, you know, it's taking it one step at a time and, and realizing that I'm very young. I have a lot of time to progress in my career. And right now I'm just focused on, you know, making it to where I want to be and making it to the big leagues, which for me is the NTT IndyCar series. So, um, you know, I'm really focused on progressing there and, and moving to that category. And with Ed Carpenter Racing behind me and HMD and United Auto Sports, TDS, with all these teams, you know, I have the perfect um, training ground and proving ground to, to push myself there. So I'm super grateful to have the people at SimuCube supporting me and, and they do a fantastic job on all their products. Thanks for watching. For more information about SimuCube's incredible line of products like the SimuCube 2 Ultimate, go check out SimuCube. Cube.com. And if you see me at the racetrack, be sure to say hi. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.